is completely false. Firefighters Union supports the deal that's been worked out between this mayor uh, and the pension fund. Our issue was an issue of mustering out pay and language. We had conversations with the pension board from Friday to Monday and were able to get that issue resolved. This is a benefit that we've tried to negotiate with the mayor for the last two contracts. The police have that benefit in their contract. And the mayor gave that benefit through pension negotiations. So it was language for us. It wasn't disagreement with the deal. It was more language on covering mustering out that. I can't speak for the pension board, nor will I try. But what I will ask is the energy in that you're putting into this, of trying to figure out if this is good or bad, that you do the same for our firefighters who are out there every day putting their life on the line. Since 2000, we've lost 14 firefighters in the line of duty. And I don't think any one of you have picked up that phone and asked the mayor to give us a pay raise. We've had 3% over six years. That's half a percent a year. That's not acceptable to our members. But yet, we have a pension crisis, and all we hear is it's the firefighter's pension. It's the firefighter's pension. Our pension's 91% funded. That's pretty good. We're not your issue. We're the men and women who put it on the line for you. We're the men and women who died for you. Our people need a pay raise, too, and we're asking you to help us now. Yeah, we gave up 3% of our pay, because that's what firefighters do. They rally together when there's a time of crisis, and this is a crisis for us. There's people talking about changing our pension. The only thing we have, when you look at our pay, it's bad compared to other people across the state. So we rallied, and we, did, we stood together, and we decided we'd make a 3% contribution to help ourselves. Don't fault us for what we do. Applaud us for standing up and staying together. But we ask you again, call this mayor. Ask her to give us the pay raises we deserve. We just give away our 3% that we've had for six years. We need money. Our men and women do it every day, and they need your support. If you really want to stand with us, make those phone calls and help our members. And I'll take questions. President White, thank you for your service, your service and those of others in the Houston Fire Department. Uh, we really do appreciate that and thank you for your presence and coming here today. We shall recognize this member start yet. Thank you for coming down. Um, my concern was that uh, there was a lot of conversations that we were we didn't have any benefit of. <clears throat> and the other, the other part of that was that months ago, the pension group, and that's one of the things that, I mean, oh, thanks for talking about this. You're not the pension group. And the firefighters are firefighters. They're not necessarily the union. The, the union is the union. The firefighters are the firefighters. The, the leadership of the fire department is another entity and has other authority. We have to make sure that when we say firefighters, if we just lump everybody together and everyone's going down that road together. That's not necessarily the case. That's why I wanted to hear from the union. Because sometimes the administration and other entities allow us to believe that they have the support when they say firefighters. Well, it's the firefighters' pension is who they negotiated with, and that's very clear today that it was not the union that negotiated. And I do have to correct you because I have told the administration through Dave Feldman that, that I support that anyone that lives in the city of Houston, that it's not negotiable that they shouldn't get some kind of benefit for having uh, living in the Houston, in, in, in the city of Houston, with their, their taxes, and that isn't something that was given away last time. So I, I disagree with you there. I'm, I'm an advocate for the firefighters, and I've been to the funeral, and I am one of those that have been making sure that we're looking for opportunities to make it a safer place to work. So I, I, I hear what you're saying, but I, I, I'm not sure that. How do you feel about the sustainability of this proposal? Are we just kicking the can down the road? Because I appreciate the contribution. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good gesture, 3%. But at the same time, I've got, we've got all these firefighters out there that, how, yourself, how many years down the road are you going to be counting on and, and worrying? I've got retirees and the wives of retirees out there that are worrying about what we're doing down here today. Why do we have to be in this predicament that they're constantly worrying about is their pension going to be there tomorrow? That's what that 
kitchen longer than they served in the city of the people. That's crazy as hell. I don't know of any firefighter living more than 30 years after he passed away unless he's just extremely lucky. We have a 52% better chance of getting cancer and dying than the average citizen. So that's just crazy. 